Welcome to the e-learning course for Aspuva Hands-On Training. This course is for those users who are considering implementing production scheduling using Aspuva APS or who are actually going to carry out the implementation. As a prerequisite to this training, the user is expected to have practiced the basic operations of Aspuva using the free trial version and the Aspuva APS introductory manual. The purpose of this training is for users to learn about the features of Aspruva by tracing the details of the profit increase project carried out by ABC Corporation. This enables the users to acquire the knowledge and skills that they will need to actually deploy Aspruva at their manufacturing site. In order for ABC Corporation to achieve these goals, the company has launched a project called the Profit Increase Project for introducing a production scheduler. The Profit Increase Project will proceed according to the following steps. 1. Understanding the current situation and setting goals. 2a. Creating master data. 2b. Graphical user interface. Realizing visual management. 2c. Techniques to shorten lead times and eliminate late deliveries. 2e. Command and scheduling parameter. 2f order inventory pegging and auto replenishment production. 2G to J, creating a prototype. 3. Connecting to external systems. Section 1. Understanding the current situation and setting goals. Before you learn about Espruva, you will need to understand the current situation and the goals that have been set. Here we will explain about the Profit Increase Diagnose Sheet that is found in Appendix A at the back of the Hands-on Training Manual. The Profit Increase Diagnosis Sheet 1. Determine the target products that you are planning to use in the system. 2. Describe the process flow and monthly production for the products selected. 3. Specify the machines and workers for each process described above. 4. Enter the working hours of the shifts. 5. Determine the processes that are considered to be a bottleneck. 6. Describe the order status and order processing method. 7. Enter the status of the inventory. 8. Specify the production scheduling method. 9. Specify the existing systems that are currently in operation. 10. Describe the method of managing master and other data. 11. Enter which issues you are aware of and their severity. 12. Determine the problems causing bottlenecks. With the information in the Profit Increase Diagnosis Sheet, we have identified the current issues and goals. Now, let's prepare this information and start to consider the introduction of Aspruva. This is the end of Aspruva Hands-On Training, Section 1. Thank you for watching.